This is Mr. Fireraiser. Mr. Fireraiser loves flames. His favorite time of the year is bonfire night, but he also loves autumn when he can burn piles of leaves, and winter where he can sit in front of cozy winter fires. But Mr. Fireraiser no longer has a fireplace at home. His parents have modernized their central heating, and all the open fires have gone. Poor Mr. Fireraiser. Mr. Fireraiser has bought a box of matches. Now, we all know you shouldn't play with matches, but Mr. Fireraiser misses his fires so much, he doesn't care. The match doesn't burn for very long, and it singes Mr. Fireraiser's fingers. Ouch! How disappointing. Mr. Fireraiser throws it away and strikes another. And another. And another. Mr. Fireraiser is so fascinated by the flames that he doesn't think about where he's throwing the spent matches. One lands in a litter bin. One lands on a dog. One hits Little Miss Drugs Mule. Mr. Fireraiser is so absorbed in watching his flames that he's not watching where he's going. He walks around the corner, bump, straight into Mr. Public Flatulence, who is hurrying home after a baked bean smoothie in town. Mr. Fireraiser is worried his flame might go out. Phew, well done, Mr. Fireraiser. It's still alight. Mr. Public Flatulence has been frightened by the crash. He's full of wind, and he can't hang on. But Mr. Public Flatulence has remembered a valuable lesson. With a sigh, he stops fighting with his sphincter and lets a long fart rip. <laughs> Bang! Oh dear, Mr. Fire Razor, what have you done? Mr. Fire Razor also learns a very valuable lesson. He no longer plays with matches.